YouTube family, welcome to another beautiful episode of my cooking series. If you're new here, my good name is Sharon Shagiri and this is Cooking with Shani, where we talk about cooking ideas for the common African kitchen, lifestyle, diet, and of course, improving our self-esteem in the kitchen. If you've not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. I really need your subscription to grow. For my returning subscribers, thank you so much for the support you are according me this far. Always ensure that your notification bell is on so that you don't miss any of my episodes. And today we are going to make this amazing crunchy bajias alongside my sweet sour tamarind sauce. I promise you when you try this recipe, when you try this, you will never, never have bajias in a fast food restaurant again. So welcome and let us cook. So with me friends, I have what is required to make our tasty, amazing bajia. And we will need eight medium-sized potatoes. And in a short while, I'm going to explain why I'm using medium-sized potatoes. You also need a teaspoon of crushed garlic. You also need a teaspoon of crushed ginger. You also need three tablespoons of wheat flour. You also need a pinch of garlic powder. You also need a pinch of onion powder but these are very optional and i use the back of my teaspoon to measure my a pinch if you don't like the onion powder you can still use raw onions grate them then you add them to your flour mixture you also need coriander leaves chopped you also need water you need salt to taste you need food coloring and today i'm using yellow color you also need cooking oil and a good amount of cooking oil and for my tamarind sauce i have with me a tomato a small onion two pieces of tamarind pods that i'm going to show you how i will work with them to make a good sauce a clove of garlic a piece of green chili and some water i will also be using uh, some of this choma sauce from pep town it really appeals to my taste buds when i'm preparing this tamarind sauce all my ingredients are listed in the description box down below feel free to check them i will begin by dicing my potatoes um this is a very important tool in the kitchen that you really don't have to miss out on. It goes for 50 Kenyan shillings in any supermarket and any local store around your place. So I'm just going to use this to make the shapes of our bajia. The reason why I'm using this is to just have this beautiful appealing to eat shapes yeah so i will start off kindly just observe what i'm doing potatoes are nicely done as you can see I was using medium sized potatoes so that the cutter can cut through easily a large potato cannot be chopped with the, the chopper we were using so I will just keep this aside and I will rinse it with the running cold water to clean off the excess starch meanwhile I'll add salt to my pots and then I will add a bit of the crushed garlic, just like that. I will add a bit of the crushed ginger and then I will top it up with water. I 
I will heat this mixture up until it boils. Once it boils, I will add my cleaned potato chops and cover for 15 minutes away from the heat. It's kind of a certain type of blanching but I will not rinse it off. This enables our potatoes to slightly pre-cook and be infused with the garlic and ginger flavors before we deep fry our bajia. My infusion has just boiled, so I'm going to turn off my heat and add my cleaned pieces of potato chops. And then I will cover and let this sit for 15 minutes. As our potatoes are blanching, I will go ahead to show you how our tamarind sauce is being made and I will begin by peeling the outer cover of our tamarind pods. Then I will soak this in water and I will go ahead to chop the other ingredients. So as you can see, I have managed to extract the tamarind flesh from the pods so i just added some little water to allow for soaking of the flesh so that we can extract the juice and this will sit for 30 minutes meanwhile i will prepare my other ingredients Friends, I will set the tamarind sauce ingredients aside for blending last once our bajias are ready. For the flour mixture, I'll begin by adding the three tablespoons of flour. Followed by everything else that I had not added the garlic paste, the ginger paste, a pinch of onion powder, a pinch of garlic powder, some salt to taste, uh, coriander leaves, food coloring and water. My blanched potato pieces are ready. My mixture of flour and my spices is also ready. And to this, I choose to add two tablespoons of lemon juice to just further flavor our potatoes. I can assure you this will be very amazing. Very lovely, very delicious. So I will mix everything up and on the other side, my oil is preheating in a pan. Everything is now nicely done. You should note that uh, when your coating on the bajia is not thick enough the way you want, feel free to add some flour as you mix up everything until you get the thickness you desire. I believe by now also my oil is about just hot enough so I will use my cooking stick to just check if the oil is hot and as you can see there are bubbles around it showing us that the oil is hot 
and ready for frying. So I'll just go ahead and put these bajiyas in here. Please do not, we are cooking these bajiyas under high heat as we ensure they are not burning. Bajiyas with me, very crispy, very crispy, very amazing. The aroma here is so nice, so beautiful. The taste is second to none. So I will just keep this aside and start working on our sauce. I have already put my cut ingredients in my blender and I'm just going to ensure I squeeze the meat out of this juice using my hands as I'm doing. Then I will add this juice to my blending mixture and blend. I have put the tamarind seeds away. So I'm going to add this to my blender and blend right away. And to this sauce, I'm going to add about two tablespoons of my choma sauce to just infuse the flavor that I want. Some people use uh, boiled carrots. They chop carrots and boil and substitute for the place of tomato. But for me, I prefer using the tomato. So my sweet sour tamarind sauce is ready and I can tell you guys this tastes so good. You can also serve your bajia with chutney, Indian chutney sauce and that I will also take some time to show you how it's made sometime later. I will also spare some time to show you the carrot option that is used to make this tamarind sauce whereby we chop our carrots, we boil, then we blend and substitute that in place of the tomatoes. So see you at my presentation table. Everything is done now. Allow me to introduce to you the perfect snack for four o'clock tea. This is very good with a family setting. Just remember to eat healthy portions and never make any food your addiction. I hope you've learned something today. If you have, please do give my video a like so that YouTube can recommend it to more people. And I will see you in my next video. Keep safe. Until then, bye.